Keanu Reeves Canadian actor Keanu Charles Reeves is a Canadian actor. A recipient of numerous accolades in a career spanning four decades, the New York Times ranked him as the fourth greatest actor of the 21st century in 2020, and Time magazine named him one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2022. Wikipedia Born, September 2, 1964, age 59 years, Beirut, Lebanon. Height, 1.86 meters, music group, dog star. Parents, Patricia Taylor, Samuel Nowlin Reeves, Jr. Upcoming movies, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Ballerina. Nationality, Canadian. Grandparents, Sarah Monolani Victor, Samuel Nowlin Reeves. The Best Keanu Reeves Movies Whoa! From River's Edge to John Wick, here are Keanu's best films. It's hard to find a movie star with a more varied career than Keanu Reeves, who found himself struggling over the years to break free from being typecast as a ditzy but good-natured flake. But with three successful original franchises under his belt, Canadian heartthrob Reeves has proven himself to be a force in the business, whether he's a cyber superhero, a time-traveling teen, or the most lethal hitman in the world. You can even find him in video games now, with his continued role as Johnny in Cyberpunk 2077. Keanu Reeves Movies Ranked To celebrate Keanu Reeves, we've picked out his 15 best movies, ranging from early 80s efforts like River's Edge, to action classics like Point Break, Speed, and The Matrix. Let's dig into Keanu's catalog and find the best of the best. The Devil's Advocate, 1997 The Devil's Advocate is a strange sort of hybrid film. It's part John Grisham-style legal drama, part supernatural horror film, part psychological character study, and part homage to Paradise Lost. But it was a mix that mostly worked, resulting in one of the more unique bullet points on Reeves' resume. He starred here as Kevin Lomax, a gifted attorney with no qualms about defending clearly guilty clients. An invitation to join a prestigious New York law firm leads to serious temptation when Lomax discovers something twisted about one of the firm's partners, John Milton, Al Pacino. Constantine, 2005 From working for a demon to waging war against them, Reese would star as John Constantine, an exorcist-slash-demon hunter reluctantly caught up in the ongoing war between angels and demons on Earth. As far as comic book adaptations go, Constantine isn't all that well regarded, but ignoring the fact that it's not a great adaptation of DC's Hellblazer comics, Constantine is actually a pretty solid supernatural action flick. The movie borrowed from the seminal storyline Dangerous Habits in how it used Constantine's terminal lung cancer as the driving force in his quest to cheat his demonic foes and avoid eternal damnation. The Matrix, Reloaded, 2003 Keanu Reeves and crew returned for this blockbuster Matrix sequel, which featured a flying Neo, a freeway chase sequence, that still stands as the best action scene in any Matrix movie, and a crazy Zion dance party, okay, that part's kind of dumb. The Matrix, Reloaded wasn't the instant classic the first film was, as the cyber mythos began to take over and drag the saga down a bit, but this was still one of the biggest outings of Reeves' career. Bill and Ted Face the Music, 2020 Bill and Ted stars Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter returned for this sweet, silly decades later sequel, the third film in the franchise. The story follows the beloved San Dimas wannabe rockers as they work to figure out, after years and years, why they haven't saved the world with their music like they were told they would. Samara Weaving and Bridget Lundy Payne also star as Thea and Billy, Bill and Ted's daughters, respectively, in one of the rare long-awaited follow-ups that gets it right. Parenthood, 1989 This 1989 Ron Howard movie, that would later get loosely adapted into a successful NBC drama series, after one failed attempt in 1990, was an ensemble comedy starring Steve Martin, Mary Steenburgen, Rick Moranis, Diane Weist, and more in a story about the foibles of family. This wasn't a starring vehicle for Keanu Reeves, but he was a part of the mix, playing the endearing Ted-style husband of Martha Plimpton's character. It marked an important era when Reeves had solid supporting roles in big-name projects. Always Be My Maybe, 2019 
Speaking of solid supporting roles, Reeves played a gentle parody of himself, or at least of Hollywood types, in splendid rom-com Always Be My Maybe. As the brief boyfriend of Ollie Wong's character, Sasha, featuring a double date that was pretentious enough to throw Randall Park's Marcus into a jealous tizzy, Reeves was a scene-stealer. Toy Story 4, 2019 Reeves joined the Toy Story saga in the franchise's fourth, and so far, final, film, voicing Duke Kaboom an amiable Canadian daredevil with a white outfit, modeled after the 1975 Evil Knievel rally stunt cycle toy. Reeves seamlessly slipped into the series and felt at home amongst the Toy Story favorites to help make it one of the best Pixar movies. Bram Stoker's Dracula, 1992 to be fair, Keanu Reeves took it on the chin for his performance as Jonathan Harker in Francis Ford Coppola's lavish, ghoulish 1992 Dracula film. Treading water a little bit opposite Gary Oldman, who was effortlessly chewing up the scenery around him, Reeves felt slight in the midst of Oldman and Sir Anthony Hopkins. The film itself isn't hindered by any of this, though, and is still considered one of the best entries in early 90s prestige horror. It also makes for a wonderful vampire movie. River's Edge, 1986 River's Edge offers a simple but engaging conflict inspired by a real California murder case. John, Daniel Roebuck, brags to his group of high school friends, including Reeves, Crispin Glover, and Ione Skye, that he raped and murdered a girl. After finding her body, the typically disaffected and emotionally detached teens struggle with the desire to protect their friend and the need to do the right thing. River's Edge is an early example of the talent actors like Reeves and Glover possess, and it's as good an answer as anything to the argument that Reeves can't do straightforward, dramatic roles. Point Break, 1991 Before there was a Fast and the Furious franchise, and before Catherine Bigelow was making hard-hitting war dramas like The Hurt Locker and Zero Dark Thirty, there was Point Break. Point Break has essentially the same exact plot as the first FF movie, only it came out a decade sooner and featured surfing instead of drag racing as the adrenaline junkie slash criminal sport of choice. Reeve starred as college football quarterback turned FBI agent Johnny Utah, tasked with infiltrating a band of surfers led by Bodie, Patrick Swayze whom is believed to be tied to a string of bank robberies. And much as Paul Walker's Brian O'Connor would do after him, Reeves' Johnny Utah found himself torn between his duty and his newfound loyalty to the free-spirited Bodie. My Own Private Idaho, 1991 In the early 90s, Reeves was no doubt looking for some meatier, more offbeat roles to prove he wasn't just that guy from Bill and Ted. My Own Private Idaho might have reached a more limited audience, but it certainly proved there was more to Reeves than air guitar and a goofy smile. Gus Van Sant's My Own Private Idaho is very loosely based on Shakespeare's plays Henry IV, Part I, Henry IV, Part II, and Henry V. River Phoenix starred as a street hustler named Mikey Waters, while Reeves played his friend and fellow hustler, Scott Favor. Though a bit light on plot, the film dealt with the struggles faced by these young men as they dealt with day-to-day -day trials, accepting their homosexuality, and Mikey's quest to reconnect with his mother. John Wick, 2014 It's up to the individual fan to decide for themselves which John Wick film is their favorite, of the three released so far, but for simplicity's sake, we're using the the first chapter here, from 2014, as it's a thrilling, straight-to-the-point revenge flick about a hitman who gunfu's everyone into an early grave after his dog, gifted to him by his late wife, is killed. Keanu free from the burden of having to prove himself as an action star all over again here, just became a murder machine and a brand new hit franchise was born. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, 1989 For better or worse, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure defined Reeves' career in the late 80s and early 90s. Reeves starred as the lovable but dim-witted Ted Theodore Logan, alongside Alex Winter's equally goofy Bill S. Preston, ESQ Bill and Ted dreamed of pushing their band, the Wild Stalins, to rock and roll superstardom, but first they needed to pass their history final. Luckily for them, the helpful residents of futuristic, utopian San Dimas, CA sent back a time-traveling phone booth to help Bill and Ted gather history's most famous leaders for their project. The result was a really fun, silly comedy featuring two heroes literally fighting against time, 
pawing around with everyone from Billy the Kid to Abraham Lincoln to an ice cream chugging, water slide obsessed Napoleon. Reese and Winter fit their roles like a glove, portraying Bill and Ted as equal parts surfer dudes and metal heads. It's an essential time travel movie every fan of Reeves should see. Speed, 1994 Speed is one of the absolute best action movies ever made. It's a suspense-driven stunt spectacular that made the most of its straightforward premise with high-octane set pieces and a great supporting performance from Sandra Bullock. Reeves turned in a commanding action hero performance as LAPD SWAT team member Jack Traven. Traven is front and center when a rogue bomber, Dennis Hopper, sabotages a city bus, holding the city hostage for millions while the bus is forced to drive over 50 miles an hour at all times, or else, kaboom. And while that could have resulted in a very repetitive movie, Speed became one of the surprise hits of the mid-90s action scene, helping cement Reeves' reputation as a star in the process. The Matrix, 1999 In 1999, The Matrix, quite simply, blew everyone's damn minds with a unique blend of cyberpunk aesthetics and superhuman kung fu. Reeves starred as a hacker, Neo, who teamed with a band of freedom fighters led by Morpheus, Lawrence Fishburne, after learning that the world was nothing more than a complex digital simulation created by robots who used the human race as batteries to sustain their global empire. The Matrix worked on multiple levels. It posed interesting philosophical questions about the nature of reality. It looked amazing, thanks to its inventive, 360-degree camera work and razor-sharp action sequences. Reeves himself was perfectly cast as the slightly spacey, emotionally detached loner who morphed into a martial arts wunderkind. Take a look at our guide to watching The Matrix movies in order if you're planning a marathon. Keanu Reeves Movie List Looking for all of Keanu Reeves' movies in order of release date? We've got you covered. Flying, 1986 River's Edge, 1986 The Night Before, 1988 Permanent Record, 1988 The Prince of Pennsylvania, 1988 Dangerous Liaisons, 1988 Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, 1989 Parenthood, 1989 I Love You to Death, 1990 Tune in Tomorrow, 1990. Point Break, 1991. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, 1991. My Own Private Idaho, 1991. Bram Stoker's Dracula, 1992. Much Ado About Nothing, 1993. Even Cowgirls Get the Blues, 1993. Little Buddha, 1993. Speed, 1994. Johnny Mnemonic, 1995. A Walk in the Clouds, 1995. Chain Reaction, 1996. Feeling Minnesota, 1996. The Last Time I Committed Suicide, 1997. The Devil's Advocate, 1997. The Matrix, 1999. The Replacements, 2000. The Watcher, 2000. The Gift, 2000. Sweet November, 2001. Hardball, 2001. The Matrix Reloaded, 2003. The Unimatrix Neo, 2003. The Matrix Revolutions, 2003. Something's Gotta Give, 2003. Constantine, 2005. Thumbsucker, 2005. A Scanner Darkly, 2006. The Lake House, 2006, Street Kings, 2008. The Day the Earth Stood Still, 2008. The Private Lives of Pippa Lee, 2009. Henry's Crime, 2010. Generation Um. 2012, Man of Tai Chi, 2013. 47 Ronin, 2013. John Wick, 2014. Knock Knock. 2015. Exposed, 2016. The Neon Demon, 2016. The Bad Batch, 2016. The Whole Truth, 2016. To the Bone, 2017. John Wick, Chapter 2 John Wick, 2017. Siberia, 
2018. Destination Wedding, 2018. Replicas, 2018. John Wick, Chapter 3, 2019. Always Be My Maybe, 2019. Toy Story 4, 2019. The SpongeBob Movie, Sponge on the Run, 2020. Bill and Ted Face the Music, 2020. The Matrix Resurrections, 2021. DC League of Super Pets, 2022. John Wick, Chapter 4, 2023. Ballerina, 2024. Outcome, TBD. Constantine 2, TBA. Good Fortune, TBD. John Wick 5, TBA. Thank <laughs> you.